This is the York Watergate, and it has a very curious story to tell. I'm here on the northern side of the River Thames, not far from Charing Cross. Tucked away in a little park next to Embankment Station is an archway called the York Watergate. This archway was built on the bank of the Thames in 1626 as an embarkation point for the Duke of Buckingham whose mansion stood just on the other side of this archway. The mansion was demolished about 50 years later but the archway was so impressive that it was allowed to stand. Nothing unusual so far. However, what is unusual about the York Watergate is that the Watergate was built on the edge of the Thames, but as you can see, it no longer stands there. The banks of the Thames are some distance away, through the park on the other side of the road you can see in the distance. However, it's not the Watergate that has moved, but rather it is the river bank that has moved. Everything you see from this point is man-made. The civil engineer Sir Joseph Bazalgette constructed the Victoria Embankment during 1864 and 1870, which moved the bank of the Thames some distance away. The Victoria Embankment was built as part of a three-stage plan, including the Albert Embankment and the Chelsea Embankment in order to provide a modern sewage system for London. This required reclaiming the land from the Thames and building the embankment, a tremendous feat of engineering achieved without heavy machinery, this was the 1800s, but achieved only with manpower and horsepower. Looking at it now, you can only be impressed at what the Victorians achieved and what we take for granted now. The Watergate was left to show the original extent of the Thames. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and check out the other videos on the Offbeat London channel.